Hello, boys and girls. Before you tune in for today's lesson, should we try naming this food together? Cheese Pizza Chicken Sausage Apples Cake Carrots Bananas Well done! The awaited English class begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do you smell that? There's even steam everywhere! I swear, it smells like... Fried chicken! Oh, hi, Mr. D. Would you like some of these? I know it! Why are you bringing in those fried chickens here, Yolo? Are you feeling hungry? I thought you just had lunch. Oh, hi, boys and girls. I am sorry for that. How are you feeling today? I am Mr. D, and this is YOLO. Hello, my dear friends. I am YOLO, your favorite yellow fastball. Well, YOLO, would you like to tell me why you are bringing these fried chickens here? I am sorry, Mr. D. Actually, my mom made these and she told me to share with all of you. Aww, that's so nice of your mom, Yolo. By the way, how many pieces of fried chickens do you have there? Let me count. There's one, two, three, four, Five. I've got five pieces of fried chicken in here. All right, all right. So, Yolo, what are we going to learn today? Well, Mr. D, since you asked, today we are actually going to learn numbers 11 to 20. And the structure... I've got. That sounds interesting and yummy. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It seems like a mysterious tudong saji appearing out of nowhere. Shall we open this together, Yolo? Sure. I have a feeling that my friends watching at home are keen to see what's inside too. Okay. One, two, three. Wow, look. We've got... Pizza. P, I, Z, Z, A. Pizza! Yummy! I like pizza, especially pepperoni pizza. Hmm, is there anything else, Yolo? We've also got apple. A, P, P, L, E, apple. Do you know there's an English idiom? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Which means that eating an apple each day can help to keep you healthy. Well, Yolo, it's not just apples. You can also eat other vegetables and fruits to keep yourself healthy. It seems like 
there's also food inside this basket. Would you be kind enough to share with your friends? What else are there, YOLO? We've got... Sausage Cheese Sandwich Cake Banana And... Carrot Wow! We've got so much food here! I can't wait for dinner! Wait! Wait, hold on, YOLO! Dinner is still a few hours away! While waiting, why not you continue to learn about numbers? We did stop at number 10 last time, right? Hmm... <sighs> okay then... The first one is... 11 E L E V E N 11 I've got 11 cupcakes Wow! That's a lot! Can I have some? Focus, YOLO, focus! After 11 is 12 can you spell 12 for me, YOLO? T W E L V E 12 Good! Now, try to count these carrots. 1 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. There are twelve carrots in the basket. Hello? Mom? Yes? Oh, so you need me to do some grocery shopping? Sure. I'm with YOLO now. Will you send me the shopping list? Okay, Mom. See you later. YOLO, will you follow me to the supermarket? I need to do some grocery shopping. Let's go! Let's go! We are finally here. Let's get some things from the shopping list. First, we need to get... 30? That's a lot of bananas. Are we going to have lots of banana splits later? Ha! Huh. I'm afraid you heard me wrong, YOLO. It's 13. T H I R T E E N. 13. It's definitely not 30, okay? Ah, uh, pardon me for my mistakes. I thought it's the same because they do sound similar. You're funny, YOLO. By the way, boys and girls, could you help me to get 13 bananas? Is it this one or this one? Are you sure it's this one? Well done! You are correct! Now, I've got 13 bananas in my basket. Thank you so much. Hold on. Uh, I I'm sorry. We actually need 14 bananas. Oh no! So what should we do, Mr. D? You're being dramatic, YOLO. Don't worry too much about it. We just have to add 
one more banana in this basket. Like this. See, now I've got 14 bananas in the basket. F O U R T E E N. 14. Remember, boys and girls, it's 14 and not 40. Wow, that's so easy. What's next, Mr. D? Hmm, let's see. Well, we still need to find 15 apples and 16 sausages. How much is 15 and 16? It's actually very easy. Remember, just now we already have 14 bananas in the basket, right? So, if I want 15 bananas, I just have to add one more banana in the basket, like this. Now, I've got 15 bananas. F I F T E E N. 15. But if I want to have 16 bananas, I need to add another two more bananas in the basket of 14 bananas. Can you understand that? Yes. Are you sure, Yolo? Let me give you a quick test. Can you try to count these bananas? Your friends at home can help you too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well done! You did it, Yolo! Now, all I need to do is to get 15 apples and 16 sausages. Be right back, Mr. D. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> so, boys and girls, could you help me to find all of the numbers by circling the words on the sausage? Make sure to get all six words before Yolo chows down all of the sausages. Uh-oh, looks like Yolo has finished up eating the sausage. Did you find the words written on the sausage? You should be able to spot 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Yolo! Yolo! Well, boys and girls, looks like our YOLO is still missing. I hope he is not lost while getting the apples and sausages. Anyway, let's continue with our lesson, shall we? Here's a question for you. How do you get a mouse to smile? The answer is... 
Say cheese. Do you get it? You don't? Well, no sweat. Well, boys and girls, look around us. There are cheese everywhere. Can we count them together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There are twenty cheese floating around. Did somebody say cheese? I love cheese. There you are, Yolo. I was worried about you. Hi, everyone. Sorry for missing out earlier. Come, we've got to hurry back. If not, my mom will scold us both. By the way, I also need these twenty cheese and eighteen cupcakes to go. Do you know that cheese was created over four thousand years ago by accident? Amazingly, cheese might never have been discovered if it weren't for a mistake. Legend has it the first cheese was created accidentally by storing milk in a container lined with an animal's stomach. An enzyme from the stomach caused the milk to separate into liquid, which is whey, and solids, which is curd. The curd, that is cheese. Also, despite popular belief, mice actually don't like cheese. In fact, they prefer sweets and cups over cheese. However, if cheese is the only food around, they will surely eat it, as most animals would. But they don't particularly love it. Phew, that was tiring. I hope we've got all of the items that my mom asked us to get. By the way, boys and girls, do you still remember my shopping list earlier? Could you rearrange the list by matching the number with the correct items? The first one has been done for you. So, are you done? Boys and girls, let's check the answers together. They are 15 apples, 16 sausages, 20 cheese, and 18 cupcakes. Isn't it easy peasy lemon squeezy? I hope you got all of them correct. Now that we have learned numbers 11 to 20, let's do a simple exercise. All you need to do is to answer yes or no to the questions. Number one, Lily, I've got 11 sausages in my basket. So, what do you think is the answer? Is it yes or no? If your answer is yes, sadly you are incorrect because there are actually 12 sausages in the basket. So the answer is no. What about this one? Jen, I haven't got 17 apples in my cart.
Have you chosen your answer? The answer is... Yes! Actually, Jen has got 13 apples in her cart. And the final question is... Andy, I've got 16 cupcakes on my tray. Are you ready to check the answer? Let's count the cupcakes on Andy's tray together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Andy has got 17 cupcakes on his tray. So, the correct answer for this question is... No. Good job, all of you, for trying. You have done exceptionally well. I am so proud of you. YOLO, let's do one more exercise. This time around, let's focus on the structure I've got and I haven't got. What? Is I haven't got, Mr. D? We use I haven't got when we do not have something. For example, I've got an apple. I haven't got an orange. Ooh, that's easy. Let me try next. Sure, use this. Here goes nothing. I've got a carrot. I haven't got a banana. Good job, YOLO! So, boys and girls, that's how you use the structure I've got and I haven't got. Now that you've gotten the idea of the structure, let's have another practice, shall we? See, YOLO, try to describe what's in the lunchbox using the structure I've got and I haven't got. Are you done? I've got a sandwich. I haven't got an orange. I've got a banana. I haven't got a pizza. I've got a cake. I haven't got a sausage. How about you boys and girls at home? Did you get the answers as YOLO? You do? Wonderful! As expected of my lovely pupils. Oh yes! It's finally the time for us to play a game! Did you just say game? Yes! Would you like to play with us, YOLO? Of course! To play this game, you need to pay close attention to these pictures. I will either add or take out items from the picture. You have to quickly choose the correct sentences describing the picture before the buzzer goes... Let me show you how to play the game. The answer is... I've got 11 cakes. Yes! I got the answer right! Now, if you haven't got any questions, let the game begins.
How was the game? Was it difficult? Or was it so easy that you could just do it with one eye? Can you answer it with just one eye? Sure, YOLO. You just have to close one eye and choose the correct answer. So, boys and girls, what do you think of today's lesson? I really hope that you've learned a lot today. But always remember that you have to practice, practice and practice because practice makes perfect. Since we are about to end our lesson, will it be okay for you to recap today's lesson together? We have learned the numbers 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 And not to forget the structure of I've got and I haven't got That will be all for today's lesson boys and girls Hasta la vista! Do you smell that? I swear it smells like... YOLO!